Hi, this is Dave Kaufman with Voices in Harmony. This is going to be a demonstration of some slightly advanced features using Audacity that come in handy when you're using split track recordings. The things I'm going to demonstrate are how to take a stereo track and turn it into two separate split tracks, how to slow down or potentially speed up a recording, and also how to edit out uh, portions of a recording that you might know well or how to uh, duplicate portions of a recording that you might want to uh, redundantly practice. First thing I want to do is make sure that I have any unnecessary applications closed on my computer. In other words, the only thing that I should be using uh, is the Audacity application. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to close my web browser. I'm going to make sure I don't have any text files or um, any uh, email, word processors, uh, iTunes. I don't want anything open except for my Audacity. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is this is on a Mac, but the the things I'm demonstrating are quite similar on a PC as well. So now I'm going to open up a file, and for this demonstration, I'm going to use the base version of Eight Days a Week. Now, if I didn't have it right on my screen, uh, this happens to be in the download uh, file, <coughs> download folder, uh, I could have used my search to search for the song. I'm going to open it. And what you see here is I have eight days a week, but you'll notice there's only one mute button. That's because this is a stereo recording. What I want to do is... I want to be able to split the two tracks separately so I can work on each track one at a time. So the way you do it is there's this little pull down menu right over here. And now I'm going to go down to where it says split stereo track. Now you notice that there's two mute buttons or two solo buttons. Okay, So uh, either you could use mute or solo to accomplish what you want to do here. So uh, here we go. I'm going to play it. And now I'm going to go to solo, and that's just the bass. And now I'm going to go solo on the right, and that's the three other parts. Similarly, I could use the mute. So that's the bass only, and that's the other three parts. So you could practice with just the part of interest. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is rewind back to the beginning, and I'm going to slow the recording down. So when you're dealing with things uh, speeding up and slowing down, it's probably best that you do it with stereo tracks. So what I'm going to do is go here to that same pull down, and instead of splitting the tracks, I'm going to make the two, tr the two individual tracks back into stereo. just makes it easier to uh, edit. You could leave them split. Now, there's two ways of uh, selecting the entire track. One is you click on this region all the way to the left here. And you can see there's a gray bar over everything. The other way of doing it is to go to Edit, and then go to Select, and then choose All. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is go to the Effect area. And you'll notice that there's three different areas that we might be interested in, but really only one of them will accomplish what we want. So I'm going to first show you the two that we don't want. Here's change pitch, and this says change pitch without changing tempo. That means that um, you'll pitch the, uh, the the music up, which you might want to actually do. If you want to uh, uh, pitch it up by a, uh, uh, a half, then this is the way of accomplishing that. Okay, but that's not what we want to accomplish now. Uh, the next effect that you might think of doing, it says change speed. But that's actually not what we, we want to do either. Because change speed will affect both the tempo and the pitch. So we will either speed it up and the pitch will go higher or slow it down and the pitch will go lower. But in this case, what we want to do is have the pitch stay exactly the same, but we just want the music slowed down, for example. So that is called change tempo. And in this example, 
I'm going to try to change the tempo by minus 20%. Now you can choose whatever you want there. And you'll notice that when I have minus 20 chosen, that the length of the recording is going to go from 205 seconds to 257 seconds. If you want, you could actually preview this right over here. Okay, well, that wasn't a good example because it was just the pitch. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and we are going to slow it down by uh, the effect by minus 20%. So I'm just going to click OK. And there it is, changing the tempo, minus 20%. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit play. And you can hear it is significantly slower, but the pitch is exactly the same pitch. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewind back to the beginning again. I'm going to remove the tempo change. So now we're back to where we started. The next thing I want to demonstrate is how to remove a section of a song which you might know already. For example, you know the intro and you want to move in further and practice with that. Uh, so if we look over here, we could tell that this, this, this little area over here is the pitch. We want to keep that. And then from here, uh, the intro, of course, is going to be towards the beginning. And I want to find the part of interest that I want to end at. So I'm going to jump over to here, which is about 35 seconds in. Okay, and I'm going to back it up a little. Ah, that's the spot I want right there. So it's right at about 30 seconds, okay? So what I'm going to do is, uh, this is the selection tool. I'm going to move over to the zoom tool. Now, you could either, uh, click using the left mouse button, and you'll see it's the little plus sign over there. Every time I click the left mouse, it'll move. Or you could go view, and you can go zoom <coughs> out, which is command three on the uh, Apple product, okay? But uh, here I am, I got the, the selection tool, I mean the zoom tool chosen, and I'm zooming out. And what I want to do is get to a point where I'm comfortable with where I'm going to select. So I've got it zoomed out enough, and I can then move my, I can go to the selection tool, and then I can move it right to the beginning of where I want to start. And I'm going to right about there. And now what I can do is I'm going to drag to the left. And uh, this is the area that I'm selecting. And then what I can do is remove this. Now, because I'm zoomed in, uh, it will take a little bit longer uh, to get to the, the portion of interest. And what I'm going to do is go right over here. The area to the further to the left of this is the pitch. And you can see that this is at about five seconds of the recording. Okay. So now how do I remove it? I go edit. And then I can go uh, remove audio or labels. And uh, what I could do is choose delete or I could just choose the delete button that's uh, right on my keyboard so I'm going to choose delete and now what we'll notice is uh, I'm going to go uh, use the, using the selection tool I'm going to just go to the uh, middle of the pitch being blown and you'll hear where the song starts da, 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 da. Now, let's say I want to make a loop, all right? What I can do is let's just get a little bit more precise by zooming in a little bit more and use the selection tool. And I'm going to select right to the beginning of that section over there. And I was just watching it on the screen uh, to see that that's where I wanted to, uh, to do it. Now I'm going to go right to the very beginning of here. And I'm going to go edit, copy. And now what I want to do is I want to place it right back in. So I'm going to click the selection tool. I'm going to, well, I'm going to hit the 
this area over here. And what I want to do is I want to get it right at the beginning, right there. And now I can go edit, paste. And now it, what it did is it's created a second version of the song. So I'm going to use the selection tool. I'm going to go right over here and now we're going to play it. Now, if you notice, when I did that, there's a little bit of a gap between the two that we may not really want to have there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this. See, it's just a little bit delayed. So what? why don't we go ahead and get rid of that? So I'm going to go back to the selection tool. And I'm just going to go right in over here. And I'm going to get rid of that little tiny bit of gap over there. And I'm going to hit the delete key. Now let's see what it sounds like. There. So now the timing sounds really, really nice. And then what I can do at that point is I can uh, export this. Uh, I can just leave it the way it is, or I can export this and then save the file uh, eight days a week base um, no intro. And I've got it permanently saved. If you have any questions, you're welcome to contact me.